Hey everyone, welcome back to my Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 video guide walkthrough for obtaining the uh, the trophy for Mastered the Path of the Master Ninja. So this is chapter 9, it's called The Flying Fortress Daedalus. Um, so yeah, th this this chapter is uh, not that bad. And um, I kind of wanted to talk about some stuff about... It's, uh, it's going to be related to this game, but like... I don't know, this, the, the the enemies on this level, the, the tactical ninjas, um, I don't know it's, if it's um, the strength of my sword, you know, with, with, a, with the sword at level 4, or, or just the nature of these guys, but like, it's just so easy. Um, now, these guys here, you don't want to fuck with these guys, obviously, so throw your inferno, you get all your magic orbs back, by the way, inside. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, up ahead we're going to be facing some tactical ninjas, these guys here. Um, let, let's check these guys out. They're on either side of this room here. And um, just like two hits will deal. I mean, you see how like I cut through these guys like they're paper? Um, it's probably it's probably the sword that it being so strong, but like even if it wasn't so strong, it would still just, you know, be a matter of just hitting a couple more times for these guys. Um, uh, you know, I, I just beheaded that guy. Right there now. I'm not even gonna use my. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna. I went through this chapter completely without even being cheap. No spamming for nothing. I mean, no UT spamming. Um, I do. I do kind of do a kind of funny trick on Genshin at the uh, for the boss battle. I just spam the endless Feng UT and uh, manipulate the columns. Just because I've never done that on video and I wanted to show people how to do it. I wanted to do it the last time, but I lost the footage. Um, but yeah, going through this level, it's just. It's so remarkably easy, and you think a chapter like this, it's going to be hard because we have these guys in, you know, heavy-duty armor here, but it's just like one or two hits, and then they're delimbed, and then you just press the triangle button, and it's just so easy. Um, I hate to say that. I really hate to say that because, um, you know, this, this game it has a, a, hu a big reputation for being hard. It, it, it really is. It is hard. I'm not saying that. Um, I'm having, you know, no issues with it whatsoever, but, because some bosses, they'll just, they'll eat you, and you'll be dead in like a second. I mean, it's, it's really, you know, some, some parts I don't have a lot of confidence in, um, but like, my, my overall skills, I have confidence in those. Just some, some of the cheap areas in this game where you, you just, you don't even stand a chance sometimes. Um, what the one of the fights I'm thinking of that comes to mind is the second Zidonius boss fight. That that fight is is, is so hard, uh, and some of them they really are hard. But like, you know, cutting and tearing through this level here, you know, I'm not even, you know, I, I'm at the level here where I'm just, I'm not even, uh, I can't spam. You know, spamming UTs here. First of all, it wouldn't be any fun for me, and second of all, it's just like that would be. Um, it, it would it would be a, a disparagement to my own skill level. It, it just would be doing my own self a disservice. Um, you know, having to, to UT spam these guys here with, with a weapon that just just ki instantly kills them so much. I mean, um, and, and and that was the reason I didn't wind up with too much money here because I, I wasn't using UT spams. But that just goes to show you you don't have to do that on chapter challenge to get a master ninja rank. Um, got a parry right there. That's a triangle parry, by the way. Um, the square parry is where he kind of slides. I like the square parry better. The animation is a lot cooler. Um, but they're both they're both awesome. Um, so equip the Enemus Fang here, and then tr trigger this trip wire point. Fall back, charge up, release, um, and then when you uh, make contact with, the, with these guys, you gotta evade away real quickly um, because you will get hit by the uh, the explosion if you don't dash away quickly enough. But it, it works out for you fine. There's very minimal lag. Controllers work fine. Everything's in order. This is a great looking game. It plays well. Um, uh, so ordinarily, the, the sword we would have, it would be up to level um, 2. So, you know, in that sense, I can understand how a level like this might be really challenging on the normal mode because I remember it wasn't until the next chapter that you can even upgrade it up any weapon you want to chapter... Or <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, Level three. It's not until chapter ten that you can actually start doing that. Um, they, they put pretty strict requirements on that. Um, so throw the void here at this guy. Any any of these guys, these mech soldiers here, throw the void. It kills them instantly. Um, 
You could even do the OTs on those guys. Um, this this room is always a little weird for me. I, I don't know how this quite works here. Um, sometimes uh, you will get one of the mech soldiers, like he'll spawn like right in this room with you. Um, sometimes uh, it doesn't work out that way. Sometimes the way it's supposed to work, I feel, um, uh, is that... Well, now, when I say it's supposed to, I mean the way I think the game makers wanted this to play out is exactly how this plays out right here. But sometimes, I think if you check my other guide, uh, things worked out differently here. But this is ordinarily, I'm not even, I'm not really even used to this scenario playing out because ordinarily the the soldier, the mech warrior, that huge guy, he'll spawn in that room for some reason, and then these guys just they just never appear for me. So it's a little weird, but. Um, yeah, so on the one hand, you know, if, if you're trying to think that this mode is, um, or, or you're hesitating about playing this uh, scenario to get this particular trophy, um, I was a little c discouraged because there's the square parry, or no, that wasn't the square parry. That was just uh, his one of his moves. Um, so if you if you really think that you can't do this, um, uh, I really can't speak. For the entire game, because um, I really haven't, I haven't finished. I don't have the trophy yet, um, and I, I hope it's not, you know, a huge, huge struggle to get it. Because um, I know the chapters they get a lot harder. Um, you know, got a parry right there. There's a triangle parry. I love parrying. It's awesome. Um, so you, you know, don't don't get discouraged. Seriously, I mean. Um, they give you all of every single weapon you have is upgraded to the fullest strength. I mean, even the sword. They give, they give you the sword at level four. We you know it's level four because it's got that little purple orb on it, that stone that we uh, pull out of uh, um, what's her name's ass in chapter uh, Momiji section. <laughs> uh, I don't even know uh, Obaba, Obama, whatever her name is. Uh, that old witch croon fucking bitch. Um, Anyway, um, <laughs> someone actually, uh, on my, uh, one of my videos for the, uh, the, uh, what was it, uh, I think it was one of the final videos for the, uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, he says, you swear too much, um, stop, he didn't, he didn't say stop swearing, but he said it was a turn off or it was unappealing because he was old fashioned, he might even be listening, um, I don't like to swear, I try to keep swearing to a minimum, um, you know, I don't do it for comedic effect. I just do it when I, you know, I'm uh, normally when I'm getting pissed off or maybe when I'm trying to be funny. I, I'm not really sure, but um, I don't like to just swear because, you know, just for the sake of swearing. Um, I don't know. I, these I always am considering, you know, people watching this and uh, you know, people like. 15 year old watching it and the, and the mom being in the next room you know I, I don't want to completely be swearing the whole time but um, I don't know I don't know a anyway so gotta be heading on that guy yeah someone okay now so yeah these fish the, now these these fish fuck these fish <laughs> oh man uh, I, I was not expecting those guys to swim on in into this kind of environment here um, so take these guys out down here. Um, now, now some of these areas are tough, like, but they never really lock you into rooms or anything. You, you, you've got a lot of freedom of movement in this game. So, um, uh, so on the one hand, um, I am, I'm a little concerned about some of the difficulty in the later stages. Um, but on, on the, uh, you know, on a kind of an arrogant side of me, it's just saying like this is too easy, like. Uh, you know, this would actually be more enjoyable for me if the sword wasn't so strong, but um, I like using the dragon sword more than any of the other weapons, and, um, you know, um, all the other weapons are at level 3, um, and the only weapon that I kind of, is similar to this would be the, the dual sword, but I think that, that is that even, a, that, that might even be a level 4 too. So, um, yeah, so I, I kind of wish that I wasn't, you know, I don't know. It's, it's nice to be so strong. You know, I, I think the trophy's going to be within my grasp, but and on the other hand, it's it's not really fun sometimes when these enemies, they just go down like nothing. I mean, seriously, this is so easy. Um, okay, so a, a room like this, for instance, um, 
Um, yeah, I do. I do this charge here. I, I like doing the the, the the gleaming blade charge. Um, I'm, I like to rotate the camera when I do that right there. Um, like a, a room like this, ordinarily, like every I, I remember. I remember doing Master Ninja difficulty. Like every like I would pretty much die on every part. Well, not every part, but like I would go to a part. And, and like find all the trip wire points, fall back, charge up, and then, and then that was like all I was doing. Um, by the way, that the guy in the bunk bed, I think all he has is a collectible item. I'm not sure. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure. Um, I remember he doesn't have anything good to loot from. And uh, is this a room where it's all the machinery? Yeah, a room like this. Also, I would be just jumping into this room, throwing the inferno, um, and that's just that's just not the way I want to play this time around. Um, if you really need help and if you're really struggling, um, and that's not to say that you know if, if if that's the case you suck because that's what I had to do when I was playing Master Ninja mode. This is admittedly a lot easier than the story mode. Um, it's seriously um, the only thing that I'm really concerned about is some of the areas where I was relying on having a uh, a talisman of rebirth. Um, you know, being carried over from one chapter to the next—that's that's a little bit where I'm kind of kind of worried. But um, hopefully, I can get my you know a little bit more um, confident in my skill level here. Um, so okay, so we got a triangle parry there. Absorb some essence there. Okay, and and just take care of this guy. Hit the save point. Um, the w the way Ninja Gaiden works is that I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to describe this game. Um, it's a it's a very okay. The, the the other room, by the way, doesn't have anything. This is a room that has the orbs. Um, this game is a uh, very fast, and I would call it frenetic uh, hack and slash third person title. Um, and if you're playing on Master Ninja mode, um, it's so easy to die. But on the other hand, um, there. It's so easy to man manipulate everything. It's it's um, you find the tripwire points like 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 an instance right here. I know exactly what to do here. Um, the the guys are gonna come out. I fall back. I charge up. Now I could do this differently. I could attempt to uh, you know spar with these guys. You know with traditional hits, but like it's just not the way that I would recommend doing that. You know just that that what I did right there. That's the best way to deal with that situation. I feel. Um, those heavy duty enemies. Oh, check it out! <laughs> I forgot I even got that. Enemus Fang Master. I am officially the Enemus Fang Master. Um, uh, I don't have all those trophies, by the way. I just have the ones for the weapons I use a lot. Um, yeah, so. Getting back to what I was saying, um, it's, it's a very fast paced game. Um, I imagine that if you like this game, you'll like God of War and vice versa. Um, uh, or if you like, like Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, or Heavenly Sword, all those good games, like Dante's Inferno, um, another really good game, um, and, uh, so anyway, you can't fall off the wing of the plane, it's, this game is just gorgeous, um, much, looks a lot better than Ninja Gaiden Razor's Edge, to be sure, I mean, hit the save point too, and, uh, this, this area is pretty tough up here. What you mainly want to do over here, though, is, uh, well, I, I do a gleaming blade. Every time you see me uh, fail a bla gleaming blade, it's kind of obvious that I'm failing the uh, <laughs> the button rotation. It's hard for me to get it down. Um, but a lot of times in this in this chapter, I was like intentionally trying to make things harder for myself. And you know, whenever I know that I'm doing that, I know that there's two things going on. First of all, I'm hella good at this game. That I mean, that, that I am bragging. I'm just gonna say it right now, I am bragging. I'm very good at this game. I'm not better than. Um, a guy who I know who's better than me is Kokoro Master. He's a subscriber of mine. I subscribe to him. I know that guy is better than me. Uh, but I'm just saying, for my own personal self, I am very, very good at this game. And when I'm making the game harder for myself, I know that I am getting to a point where I'm extremely good at this game. Um, and I also know that, you know, when that situation, like, when that mentality is kicking in, like, when I'm trying to make the game harder than it actually is, that's when the game is being just too easy for my own. Um, it's being too easy for me. Um, uh, now the other dude I just mentioned, Kokoro Master, uh, <laughs> uh, he is a master. I've seen him play. He 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 toys with these enemies in a way that 
Um, I just I, I do it sometimes, but I, I normally I'm just trying to get the job done, um, uh, slaughtering f- slaughtering foes. But that guy, um, damn, that guy is good. If you haven't, if you don't know about that guy, check out his channel because he's ten times better than I'll ever be. And you know, uh, you know, you'll probably think that I'm being too self-deprecating by saying that, but. Um, I gotta give props to, to people who are better than me, and, um, you know, um, I hope that, you know, he, he does get some, uh, he's got a really good channel, and, um, I checked his stuff out, he's good, he is fucking good, I mean, um, so, you know, I hope you think that about me sometimes, but, like, I know there are other people better than me, and I know I'm not the best, it's, it's just stupid to think you're the best when, um, you know, there's other people who are really good at the game. I mean, admittedly, so, um, uh, so I just, uh, you know, I have my own, I have my own style of play, um, I, I try to not be cheap, Th- this time around, um, but when I was, I, 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 there was a point where I was really struggling with this game, I mean, um, I, I just didn't even know how, how, how it, uh, operated fully, um, now, now I, I know a little bit, but, like, there's people who can look at this game and play it as though it were a chess game, and, and they just know things, like, underlying things about it that I will never be able to grasp because I just, I approach it with a different mentality, and I don't scrutinize it the way other people can, and I, I envy those people, like Core Master, because I know that dude, when he's playing, he's, think, he's thinking on levels that I can never even imagine. Um, uh, so that, that just separates, you know, uh, really good players from one another. Um, uh, you know, this room here was a perfect opportunity to have enemies come through the windows, but they didn't do it. Um, you know, they, they can't do everything. It's it's not feasible, but, um, yeah, um, I'm really glad I'm, I'm doing this guide. I'm glad my Razor's Edge guide was so successful. Um, all three of those guides that I published, I don't regret doing a single one of those guides. It was a blast. Um, but coming back to this game after that game, th- this game just... Just, this shits all over that game <laughs> and Sigma One. No, I mean it doesn't shit over Sigma One, but I'm just saying that these two games trump Razor's Edge, Ninja Gaiden Three, Ninja Gaiden Three. I actually picked that up for like five bucks and just just to see what it was after playing. And I sent I sent it back. I just I, I sent the, the, the thing back um, before I just threw it in the trash because that's what it, it's trash. It's a piece of fucking trash, and. Um, uh, <laughs> I saw somebody do a really good comment about the, the whole Sigma and Ninja Gaiden 3. Ninja Gaiden 3 was the beta, um, Razor's Edge was the apology, and then when, whenever we get Sigma 3, if we do, it'll be the true game that we all want. Um, so so here's this dude, and if you could face this guy with doing you know anything, like I just wanted to show you how I found a good strategy um, to deal with this guy. I don't think anyone else has done this. Um, well, maybe they have, but um, I'm completely manipulating um, the fact that these columns here prevent me, prevent him from throwing the daggers at me, and prevent him from like getting me essentially. So um, you can't have the end Mustang at level three at this level uh, in the game in this chapter ordinarily so take advantage of that fact because ordinarily you couldn't you could only have it up to level two so um, release the charge if you think you're gonna get damaged but look how this is the kind of this is the kind of like playstyle like I was depending on uh, in my run when I, I couldn't do this guy and I was just start trying to be so cheap here but I never got to, to publish that footage and I wanted to, to just show you that I figured this out for myself and uh, it's just a little it's a, it's a nice little um, exploit because it's always fun to find exploits in games. And when we fight this guy with the Elizabeth boss fight, it, that, that no, that I can't do. I, I, I can't do that fight without um, exploiting um, the the trick where you go behind Genshin and then use your scythe to do, to kill to kill Elizabeth. Because now, now shit like that, I I don't know if I'm skilled enough to do it. Maybe I can. I'll try. I'll, I will try it. But if I have to, if you see me doing the the dead body Genshin glitch. That's because I couldn't do it. And Elizabeth herself is so... Her AI is scripted so intelligently. Um, like, <laughs> she never lets you go. That bitch... Um, I think she's one of the hardest bosses in this game. Plus, evil Genshin. Now, that guy... And it was a double header with those... With the evil personas in chapter... Uh, in one of the final chapters. That's just too hard for me to do. Um, so, you know, if Kokoro Master can show me how to do that... 
you know, and without being cheap, um, that dude should be leaving a comment because uh, he'll really help me out. And I also remember um, he was doing his run right where he doesn't upgrade his weapons, Kokoro Master, and he was like everybody he was talking to. He said he he was struggling so much on the armadillo boss fight because it is shit. Like when I first came to this on my my, my Master Ninja run, um, I had so many problems. And uh, I didn't even know how effective the, the Piercing Void was in dealing with the Armadillo, but it, it's really hard, and t to do that without it upgrading any weapons, my hat's off to that dude, Kokoro Master, for doing it. Um, you know, on, on this scenario, when it, we're playing Chapter Challenge, it's, it's a breeze, because we have the Animus Thing up to level 3. E everything's up to the max. You know, the Piercing Void's up to level 3. We could throw the Void into the Armadillo's head, and uh, just take that guy out. Um, like every person that hates that boss, he, they say that it shouldn't exist because it's just kind of redundant and it's unnecessary. I don't know how I personally feel about that. Um, I, I really don't know. I, I guess it, it is kind of silly, but um, one thing that that is a valid complaint is that the, the goddamn boss, he spawns uh, projectiles. When, he, when his health dips to about at 50% or lower, all he does is throw projectiles at you. And you're pretty much forced into to, to being um, invulnerable while you're casting Nimpo. And the best Nimpo, you know, by consensus, is the Piercing Void. Um, and he, Okay, so here, here's this shitter right here. He, he rolls into a ball, and it's really hard to, 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 to get into a place where you can't get hit by this guy. Um, yeah, I got hit. I, got, <laughs> I, I I really don't, you know, even care if I get hit. And all I care about is getting the win. And if I, you know, if it's if if I'm really sucking, then I'll start over. But um, normally, I just like getting the taking care of business, getting the job done here. So I think you're supposed to hit his tail, which looks like a cheetah or uh, one of those chips, those Cheetos or whatever. That's what it looks like. So hit that thing, hit his tail, hit his legs. If you try to hit his head, he'll chill, he'll probably bite you and kill you. Um, but uh, you see, uh, this is simple, um, and it's only simple because everything's upgraded so high. Um, another huge issue that I always have is uh, you try to throw an info after one, uh, the game just never even recognizes that you're pressing the two buttons. So um, that R2 button rule would really come in handy to kill this guy. Uh, you know, to assign the uh, you need. I would love to be able to map the, the to throw the Nimpo with the R2 button like you can in Sigma 1. It just would be so much helpful, uh, more helpful, if that's a, a phrase that's acceptable in the English language. Anyway, so the most important thing to realize here, and everybody's probably going to die if they don't know how to do this, is once you kill him, all you have to do is put your guard up, just block. That's all you have to do after you execute him, and then you won't get damaged. Otherwise, you will get killed. You can run away, but all you have to do is block. And uh, if your guard is up, you won't get destroyed there in the explosion. So that's Chapter 9 completed. Got the Master Ninja ranking without even um, having any problems. But um, there we go. Take care. I'll see you in Chapter 10.